What is up and welcome to That Crafty Gamer. Since the season split in Apex Legends recently took place, I decided to make some ranked charms from last season, uh, specifically the Diamond and Predator charms. I began by tracing the Apex A logo onto a piece of cardstock paper. I darkened and straightened the lines of the stencil before I cut it out. Once I had the stencil cut out, I could start molding some clay into the initial apex A. I rolled out a small square of clay with a quarter inch thickness that I could place the stencil on. I then cut the A out of the clay. Next came shaping the A into the iced over look that marks the diamond charm. I did this part freehand and used pictures from the game as references. I then repeated the same process of shaping the clay, but I formed the lava field of the predator charm instead. Once both charms were formed, I put them in the oven to bake. While they were baking, I made two boxes out of cardboard and hot glue to make the master copies of the charms into molds.
Once the boxes were made and the charms were baked, I mounted them inside using hot glue. Once the master copies of the charms were glued into the boxes, I coated them with a mold release spray. I used this because I made the boxes from cardboard and the mold would just stick to it if I didn't. I began making the molds by pouring part A of my mold maker into a solo cup. I poured part B into a separate solo cup. I eyeballed the measurements because this mold has a 1 to 1 ratio and is fairly easy to use. I could then mix both parts together. I made sure to stir the liquid rubber thoroughly until both parts became one. I then poured the liquid mold into the boxes. I did this from a height to help thin the molding out and help alleviate any bubbles I made when I mixed parts A and B together. Once they had set, I could demold both charms. Then it was time to resin pour both charms. So I first did the diamond inspired charm. I started by eyeballing both the resin and the hardener into the same container, which was a cut off solo cup. This resin is a 1 to 1 ratio, so it wasn't too difficult to just eyeball it. After I thoroughly mixed the parts together, I added a blue powdered pigment along with some blue glow powder for a bit of extra style. Once the pigment was mixed into the resin, it was time to pour it in the diamond charm mold I'd made. I poured it from a height to help alleviate any bubbles I created when mixing the resin, much like the molding process. It was on to the predator charm once I finished pouring the diamond charm. I did the predator charm a little differently than the diamond one. First I measured out the resin and put it in a bowl of warm water for 10 minutes. I put it in the bowl of warm water in order to help thin the resin out and release any bubbles in it. Next I measure out part B or the hardener. Once again, I do this all by eye because this resin is a 1 to 1 ratio. Then I mix them together. I added orange glow powder and a drop of yellow food coloring as its pigment. And then I mixed it thoroughly. I put the full mixture, including the stir stick, into a bowl of warm water for another 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes were over, I removed the resin from the water and took the stir stick out. Then it was time to pour.
Once they cured, I demolded them. I made a small indent where a drill bit could rest. After that, I could do one of the last steps, which was to drill a hole at the top of the A's where they could hang from. First, I drilled a pilot hole, and then I moved to the final size. After that the diamond charm was done, but I still had one more step for the predator charm and that was to add the crust of the lava. For this I used black acrylic paint and tried to coat the ridges. I then scraped the paint off where it wasn't supposed to be. Then I repeated the process on the sides and back of the charm. And once it dried, I could mount them up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more like this.